Welcome to this special Easter Monday Easter Life session. My name is Olumide Emmanuel and I'm going to be your host in the next one hour. I'm going to try as much as possible to share some stuff within 30 to 40 minutes max and then we'll see if we can do like 15 minutes of question and answers. Uh, so let's spread the word around. So today is Easter Monday and I want to talk to us on how to do business part-time and succeed. And um, it's very, very important for us to uh, take advantage of this opportunity. So if you do not have a pen, I will advise that you get a pen so that you'll be able to take some notes and then or get your tablets or your you know device and just get ready to take some notes um i'm going to be sharing a lot of stuff with you if you don't already know about my book the school of money book is known as the bible of wealth creation it's a book that teaches you how to make manage and multiply your money and also serves as a blueprint for entrepreneurs and presently um in the uk i had an amazing meeting um the school of money london was a success that took place last week saturday and the school of money in manchester was also a huge success and that took place last week sunday uh and um it's been an amazing time just sharing with people i've had series of meetings you know insta live sessions zoom sessions with different groups tomorrow i'll be on another radio station just sharing so the, the trip um to the uk has been very very fruitful and we're wrapping it up uh this week um but this evening i want to just spend time with us uh and we're going to be going into the school of money book and i'm going to be dealing with um how to do business part-time and succeed which is chapter 25 of the school of money book chapter 25 of the school of money book um that's the uh how to do business part-time and succeed so if for any reason you do not have this book the school of money book then you need to get a copy of this book it's a book that will be a tremendous tremendous help to your journey when it comes to wealth creation and you can get the book from my website www.olumideemmanuel.org www.olumideemmanuel.org or you can call our office um you can call the office line or send us an email uh so for those of you that are in nigeria you can call 0809 one four four seven four two three zero eight zero nine one four four seven four two three for those of you that are in the uk you can call zero seven seven nine zero seven eight nine seven two four zero seven seven nine zero seven eight nine seven two four and for those of you that are in the us you can call seven seven zero three eight zero eight four one four seven seven zero three eight zero eight four one four and you can send an email to our overseer at gmail.com so that's how you can get the school of money book but let's go straight to uh, so how to do business part-time and succeed um over the years over the decades I've, I've been privileged to um i've helped a lot of people on their journey to wealth creation and one of the major challenge um that i see a lot of people face is we have a lot of people that are in business uh, uh, sorry that are doing you know in a particular career or in a particular profession they are working and they are not okay with their salary they are not okay with their income and they know that they should be doing something else to get extra income but they just don't know how to go about it and many of them are like you know what i'm busy i have to be in the office i'm busy i have a lot of things i'm doing in order to be able to grow in my career i have to focus on my career i have to do certification courses i have to do this i have to do that and i know i should be doing business but you know i just don't have the time i don't have the time and you know you know there's nobody to trust it's better for me to just put my money in the bank let me just be seeing my money so a lot of people go through all that that stress and some people have actually tried to do something by the side you know what we call in nigeria side ozu or also or whatever so they want to do some side ozu and they want to do some you know you know side jobs and all this and 
it's it's just a lot of challenge for a lot of people. So you find out that there is a wisdom to doing this because sometimes a lot of people have done business full time, they have failed. Some people have done business part time, they have succeeded. So your ability to succeed in business is not necessarily a function of the funds you start with or what kind of business you run. Whether it's full time or part time, you can fail, you can succeed, depending on a lot of factors. And that's why I just felt that today we'll be able to look into this because I want to see how I can help you um, to be able to break this down so that those of you that are career people, uh, you'll be able to know how to begin to navigate your way into succeeding in the things you do by the side. And we've also had stations where people have actually done side business and they have entrusted it into the hands of people that have betrayed them. Or people have done some investments and they have put money into you know, some platforms that have ended up disappointing them. So you have a lot of people that have now come into a place of paranoia where they, they are not even ready to invest in anything. They are not even, anything investment, anything that has to do with you know, trusting other people. They are not interested. They would rather put their money in a zero interest account just to be seeing their bank balance to you know satisfy their emotion and their mindset but you need to understand that in the world that you and i live in you cannot just settle for mediocrity or settle for status quo or settle for a level that is below the possibilities of god for your life so let's begin by um, trying to understand what we mean by part-time business. When you say well, how to do business part-time, what exactly do we mean by part-time business? So let me state clearly that whatever you do for 60% and above of your time is not a part-time business. So if you are doing something, you are investing at least 60% of your time on something, that is a full-time job. So when you say something is full-time, anything you give 60% and above of your time and your attention to is full time that therefore means that when we are talking of a part-time business we are talking of something that you give you don't really have time to even give too much attention to it because you are probably busy doing something else as your primary you know source of income or your primary job so a part-time business therefore is any business any venture that you get involved in that requires you to put just about 10 or 20 percent of your time into it because if you are doing full time 20 um, um you're spending 60 percent of your time in full time when are you going to rest when are you going to be able to do other stuff because for instance we have people that do two three four jobs just because they are just trying to make ends meet and at the end of the day they still remain in poverty because if all you are doing is earned income uh, it's not going to it's not going to work because for end income you have to work to earn a salary and then your money is taxed even before it gets to your pocket and you still have to keep going through that cycle and that's why i'm one person that believe that people should consider you know moving into entrepreneurship and consider coming into a place where even if they are not entrepreneurs they are investors because everybody cannot be an entrepreneur but everybody must be an investor and there is no way you can become rich and wealthy just earning salaries so you need to add something else to that and that's where investment comes in so whatever you give 10 to 20 percent of your time to that's what we are now calling part-time business so wh whatever you do that is secondary to your primary job or your primary focus that is what we call part-time so that means you are working you probably a medical doctor so as a medical doctor you are doing your medical profession and as uh, someone that is a medical professional that's your primary assignment so you are virtually there most of your time but you also have something by the side that you do that thing you do by the side that you give 10 to 20 percent of your attention to that's what we call part-time business you are a teacher um you are a pilot you are an engineer you work in the oil servicing industry you are you work in the hospitality industry you do all kinds of shifts but at the end of the day there are stuff that you also do by the side that you can put in your time into those are the things that we call part-time business so having understood that that part-time business is any venture or business or platform or stuff that you get involved in and you give between 10 or 20 percent of your time to that's part-time business so how then do you succeed in this part-time business so i'm going to be sharing with you 10 principles 
10 principles, 10 guidelines, 10 wise counsel that will help you. And like I said, everything is going to be coming out of the school of money book. So in the school of money book, uh, chapter 25, we have the 10 success strategies for doing business part time, the 10 success strategies for doing business part time. So in order for you to do business part time and succeed, the first principle is you must draw up a realistic plan ahead. Draw up a realistic plan ahead. You know, many times in business, we have what we call the feasibility study. We have the business plan. We have all kinds of stuff that people talk about. And when people want to do business by the side, they don't mostly give attention to feasibility study and business plan. They just think, oh, oh that's not right. That's just a side also. No, even though it's a side also, even though it's just something you do part time, even though it's something you do by the side, if you're going to succeed, then you need to plan it in advance. You need to sit down and have a strategic plan. You need to have a goal. You need to have a plan. You need to have a strategy. So that is what I call the GPS. Now, the GPS, Global Positioning System, the GPS helps you in your vehicle. That's what you use when you use the Google Map. The Google Map works with the GPS system. When you have a Google Map, a GPS system in your car, it can help direct you to wherever you need to get to. So if you are going to become successful, you also need to go through what I call the GPS. That's goals, plans, and strategies. So you need to have a goal in advance. So if, for instance, you're a medical doctor. Now, as a medical doctor, you go to work and then you have to work Monday to Friday, sometimes Monday to Saturday. You work in the bank. You have to work Monday to Friday or Monday to Saturday and you want to do something by the side. You want to open a chemist, a pharmaceutical store. You want to open a barbing salon. You want to open um, a, a supermarket. You can't be in the bank and at the same time be in the supermarket. You can't be in your hospital and at the same time be in the pharmacy store. So it therefore means that you need to sit down and have a plan to say, okay, I want to start this by the side. I'm going to start from my house and I'm going to do this. 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 Um, yesterday, we had a very, very powerful meeting uh, at the headquarters church in Nigeria. It's uh, CAPSA 2022. Now, CAPSA 2022 um it's the fifth edition of capsa capsa is career business and skill acquisition summit we do it once every year and we bring business professional and we had one of the speaker um the founder of giddy cakes and he was sharing an amazing story of how he was working the wife was working and they realized that they needed to start you know taking this their cake and you know, confectionery business serious and then they had to get a staff and the staff will resume in their house so the staff will resume in their house by 8 a.m. They will have gone out very early. They will leave the key under the rug for the staff to pick up. And the staff will now start baking the cake and doing all the stuff. By the time the wife will come back, the wife will do all the you know decoration and icing and all the stuff. Then by the next day, he will go and do the, you know, as a marketer, he will go ahead and do the uh, distribution and the supply. Now, that's a plan. So they were both working. And they had that plan. When I was listening to that, I said, I'm like, wow, this is what I'm going to preach tomorrow. <laughs> These guys are already mentioned. So if you were not there yesterday, you can go to the church um, YouTube channel and go uh, or go to the Facebook channel, CBC Nigeria on Facebook. And it's like four hours of amazing session. Yesterday was just something else. Those guys were amazing. They were just super. The question and answer was, mm, it was just powerful. So go get it. So number one is to have a plan. You can't just wake up and say, you know, ah, I'm planning to start this uh, chemist. Uh, no, sit down, have a plan. If you fail to plan, you have already planned to fail. Proper planning prevents poor performance. That's the first thing that needs to happen. Have a plan. Have a plan and then plan ahead on how you are going to handle all the different aspects of what you do so that you will not be busy working and putting money into a business and somebody is swindling you or somebody is just milking you because you are not available. Number two, be ready to give quality mind attention to the business. You must be ready to give quality mind attention. Now, you have heard the phrase, mind your business. Mind your business. When you hear the phrase, mind your business, the real meaning of that word is put your heart to what is yours. Put your heart to what is yours. Even in the Bible, 
The Bible says, where your treasure is, there will your hearts be. So put your hearts to what is yours. So mind your business. So give that business quality mind attention. So it therefore means that if you are doing business, as a business person, you are doing business part-time, you are a surgeon, you are a pilot, you are, um, you are a teacher, um, you work in the telecoms industry, you work in IT, you don't have the time, but you have set up a consulting business or a training business or a bakery or a transport business and you, you, you've planned ahead, so you have a feasibility study, you've done your plan on how the business will run. The next thing that will help you to succeed is to give it quality mind attention because if you don't mind your business, nobody will mind your business. <laughs> If you don't mind your business, nobody will mind your business. So the mind is the gold mine from where you mine the gold that you need for your life. The head is the headquarters. So when you, I used to tell people that in my family, there's no bored person in my family. Uh, if you know me, when I started out, my air was full everywhere. But now, bored head because of thinking, you know, because the head is the headquarters. So you need to make sure that you give that business quality mind attention so that you begin to mind the business what that means is even though you are working in an office because you are mindful of your business when you see a magazine and you see something that relates to your business it will catch your attention you'll be able to when you are listening to the news uh, or people are talking or just gisting around you and you hear something that will help your business you, you are able to catch you become like a sponge you are able to catch love things why because you are minding the business when you are not minded, to be, you walk through a billboard, you listen to an advert, it will not even resonate to you that this thing will help you because you are not minding the business. It's later you now say, ah, I think I've seen something like that before. That's true. I didn't think of that. Oh, the reason why you did not think of that is because you are not minding your business. So you need to give your business quality mind attention. Number three, the third thing that will help you to succeed when it comes to this issue of doing business part-time, is you need to consider doing it as a partnership or joint venture. You need to consider doing it as a partnership or joint venture. Now, I, I say to people most of the time that, you know, it is better to have 50% of 1 billion than to have 100% of 10 million. Sometimes in the bid to try to own it all, we end up owning zero and we end up becoming casualty because we don't want to lose control. But you need to understand that you get more done when you don't care who gets the credit. You achieve more if you don't care who takes the glory or who gets the credit. So collaboration, partnership, synergy is the language of the 21st century. So as an individual, if you are talking about doing business part-time, one thing that is very, very important for you to consider is consider partnership or joint venture because you may not have the time, so you have the money, but you might need to partner with someone that has the time so that the person will give their own time and manage the business while you will be the one putting in money. Because if you don't do that sometimes, it might not work. So you might need to consider that, okay, this business I want to do part-time. To me, it's part-time. Let me partner with someone that will do it full-time. So you are in it part-time as an investor, as a silent partner, but the other person is in it full-time. That's what they do because you need to understand that there are people that have money without time. And there are people that have time without money. And there are people that have no time, no money. And there are people that have money and they also have time. So what you do in partnership in this dimension is you have the money, you don't have the time. Look for someone that has the time and the expertise and the skill, but they don't have the money. And then let the two of you come together and collaborate in partnership. Or you do it as a joint venture. Today, I still had... Um, I, I had uh, I've had three meetings today. This um, online meeting is my fourth meeting today. And one of the meetings I had with a couple today has to do with joint venture. They are talking about some joint venture stuff and we're looking at how it's going to work and all the stuff. So sometimes it can just be joint venture. Someone brings in this, you bring in this, you put it together and the deal is, the deal is done. So depending on the kind of business you're talking about, depending on the nature of the business, the nature of the industry, 
you might begin to explore the joint venture aspect so for those of you that are just joining us we have been looking into how to do business part-time and succeed i'm olumide imano and everything is coming from the book the school of money book the school of money book it's the book that is known as the bible of world creation um it's a book that will help you to know how to make manage and multiply your money and also serve as a blueprint for entrepreneurs so if for any reason you do not have a copy of this book your library is not complete there is no library that is complete without the school of money book and to get the book you can visit my website olumideimmanuel.org there is a secure payment platform on the website and you pay and you download and if you need us to send the book to you anywhere in the world you can call any of the offices to call the headquarter office in nigeria is 0809-144-7423 0809-144-7423 and then you can call the london number 077-907-89724 077-907-89724 and to call the number in america you can call the office in atlanta uh, is 770 380 and you can get the book so we have established that the part-time business is anything that you give 10 to 20 percent of your time to because whatever you do for 60 percent of your time is considered full time and then there are 10 strategies that will help you to be able to succeed in your part-time business number one you must have a plan well in advance so draw up a realistic plan in advance that's number one number two give your business quality mind attention quality mind attention then number three sometimes it is best to do it part-time uh, sorry sometimes it's best to do it as a partnership or collaboration sometimes it is best to do it as partnership or so number four Allow your staff to have stake in the business. Allow your staff to have stake in the business. So when you are doing business part-time, the amazing thing I've seen is that a lot of people don't understand the concept of win-win. Win-win is a very, very powerful concept in life. I don't know if you remember the book, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen Covey. That book is an amazing book. I have a, an entire masterclass on that book i've trained people with that book that book is amazing and one of the seven laws or seven principles there or seven habits of the highly effective people is think win-win think win-win when you are not thinking win-win you're going to get into trouble i remember i have a friend um, that runs an organization and um is uh, is relocated out of the country where he was primarily and then last year he just called me out of the blues i was like ah guy man uh, this person has left this person has left this person has left so i told him but i he said ah, you said it too i said but what do you expect <laughs> you have relocated you left you so you would think that you will relocate there. people will see that just be running your business like that when there is no stake that it doesn't work like that so many times when you are not thinking win-win when you are not thinking win-win you will not consider your staff because the question is so you expect that somebody will just be working for you for 10 years 15 years 20 years and they don't have any stake in the business it doesn't work like that so if you are doing business part-time since you are not there and people are going to be giving their life to helping you to build your business then they should have a stake so one of the major things that will help you to succeed in part-time business is to allow your staff to have stake in the business. When they have a stake in the business, it will work. We, um, in the real estate industry, we started introducing a lot of stuff, um, like, you know, people getting, you know, referral bonus, people getting commission, and that's changed the dynamics of the game in the real estate industry. Because a lot of people were like, okay, why should I help you to sell land? <laughs> so when we started out, I remember 1999, 2000, 2001, 2002. We we're just telling people, no, if you buy, you know, if you buy, if you get somebody to buy, we'll give you commission. It was strange that uh -uh, you mean for doing nothing, if I just bring somebody, you just pay. I say, yes, I'll pay you. 
And then there was even a time when we introduced upfront commission, where you bring people and even though they are paying instrumentally, once they pay the first money, we pay you off your commission. And that was something that, because they had a stake. So if you want to do business part-time and succeed, the fourth thing you need to consider is to make sure that the people that are running the business for you, the staff, they have a stake. And that's why you need to begin to consider, you know, target bonus, performance bonus, equity, and all those, and special, you know, bonuses, so that they will know that, oh, we are not just here doing this stuff. We are here laboring. This man is not here full time. This woman is not here full time. But we know that we are not just here. Um, and that's going to work. For instance, um, one of my mentees that came um, with the, the brother today, they came for a mentorship session here in the UK. And I was like, ah, you, you are still in Nigeria <laughs> in December. How did this one just happen? Now you are in London. You are doing this. Uh, everything. Ah, you say, ah, Baba, this has happened. She was telling me how that she was working for, you know, she's a, med she's a medical doctor. But she was, because I was like, you are just doing youth service now. Where did you just jump to London? And she said she was working for um, this uh, medical laboratory people. And they have this little um, clinic that they were running. And then COVID came. And that since they were struggling, but immediately COVID came, she said the owner of the um, stuff just changed the clinic and everything into an isolation center. And that when the government could not accommodate people, that they were collecting 10 million, that because people, rich people were just coming to them, they were not willing to die, that they were collecting 10 million naira per person just to deposit 10 million to come to the isolation center, be on oxygen and all the stuff. She said, sir, my madam became a millionaire in three months. Not a billionaire in three months. That in three months, over a billion entered. I said, yeah. I said, yeah. That's when they were saying people were suffering in COVID, that they were making money, that the madam made so much money that she became a billionaire within months in 2020. And that, ah, that they too were benefiting. That even as a staff, that she was able to gather almost 5 million. As a staff. That so if as a staff we are making millions, that that's how she was able to pay for a professional exam to come and write the exam in the UK. So she came to UK to write an exam, and as she was finishing the exam, they offered her a job. She wrote to the government to say, I came for my exam, oh, they have offered me a job. Oh. And within three weeks, they sent that document. Now she has a residence, she has a work permit, and she's doing well. She's just here less than four months. She's doing amazingly well. So she came for a session today, and she was telling me that. So you find out that one of the things that helped her is the fact that when that woman was making money in COVID, the staff too were benefiting from it. So when you want to do business part-time and you are not going to be there fully, don't be using people. Think win-win. Nobody is there to just labor for you forever as if you are the only one that knows how to make money. They also have a family. They also have dreams. They also have aspirations. So when you think win-win, you will suddenly realize that there is enough to share. There is enough to go around. Everybody will be okay. But not that you you are, a, you are a, you work in the bank or you are a medical doctor or you work you know you are a pilot you are traveling around the world you are doing well and then you now open a, a, a supermarket or you open a pharmacy store or you open a uh, an hotel or and then you just expect people to just be working and no salary you say am I not paying them am I not paying them no apart from paying them. When people are doing something for you and they are really, really producing results, then there should be something they will get for doing that. That is very, very important. Number five, put quality control measures in place. Put quality control measures in place. Put quality control measures in place. For those that have listened to me um, for years, you know that I've told you over and over again all the different experiences I've had in business the secret of great men is in their stories when it comes to business you'll be amazed if you don't put quality control measures in place uh, people will defraud you. you you will be shocked uh you know for those of us that are christians you know because i'm a pastor i'm an apostle in the marketplace i do business one way or the other i can't separate myself from who i am i'm a pastor that's my core personality that's who i am that's the center of all i do and um, because of that, I have a lot of people that work with me, work for me, work around me, that are also Christian. I'm like, oh, these are my sons and daughters. So for I took a lot of things for granted when I started business. So a lot of quality control measures were not put in place. 
and you have not been duped until the Christian dupes you. You have not been duped until a pastor dupes you in the name of the Lord. <laughs> then you will not dupe you. <laughs> and I was defrauded big time. I, at a point in time, in fact, I had one of my staff that took 11 million and gave, they collected 11 million from a customer, gave, they were using it to do MMM. I had staff that were, you know, using my uh, receipt booklet. They were collecting money, paying into another account, writing receipts. I went through all kinds of stuff. I had, in fact, see now, there are many things I'm still trying to set through that as a result of some of the things that I took for granted. Just thinking that, oh, we are Christians. Oh, they, you'll be shocked. You see some people, they look like Holy Mary. But the kind of uh, <laughs> spirit that is at work in there, you'll be shocked. So you need to put quality control measures in place. Don't just trust blindly. Trust but verify. Investigate before you invest. So make sure you put quality control measures in place so that even if the devil wants to use somebody, it will be difficult for the devil to succeed. So that you make sure that you put quality control measures in place. It's very, very important. So quality control measures has to do with when it comes to even from the point of resumption. Because you'll be shocked. You are not there. Somebody may not even be in the office. I remember when um, we didn't know how powerful uh, you know, people are when it comes to the Ministry of Telling Lies until GSM came to Nigeria. And you'll be hearing somebody by yourself. I said, no, 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 I do Koko now. And the person is in Abuja. I do Koko. I'll be with you very soon. I'm on my way now. I'm almost there. <laughs> and then you'll be shocked. Somebody will be calling you. And you'll say, okay, how are you? Yeah, uh, no, no, no. Ah. Uh, I'm on your streets now. I did the streets now. And the person is in a plane on the way out of the States. <laughs> so it's very, very important for you to, you know, make sure that you take that serious. So put quality control measures. Let there be, you know, um, time people clocking when they resume. There's movement charts so that people can, you know, let you know where they are going to, what they have done. Let, let, let there be a worksheet a worksheet where the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, what have they done? When it comes to finances, you need to have, you know, control, quality um, control measures, no cash, all money must be paid into the bank, uh, impress, you know, so, all these things. So get the School of Money book. All these things are documented uh, because of time. So get the School of Money book and make sure that all these measures are in place because <laughs> you'll be shocked to, I remember one of my staff, said that uh, she was sick and she took three days off so she came to work on monday took time off monday tuesday she was in the office and she said she would come on wednesday but she would not come on thursday and friday that she's not feeling fine she's going to the hospital and you know sometimes some people are just plain stupid i'm telling you do you know what happened <laughs> this lady went for a wedding the person that said she was sick, she was going for a wedding outside Lagos. And she was so daft that she was now posting it on social media. <laughs> so she was supposed to be in the hospital. She posted it on social media and they were dancing. They were dancing and enjoying themselves on social media. And I'm, I'm asking myself, you don't, you don't, you are not thinking that you told us in the office that you are sick. You told us you are going to you are going to hospital, and now you are on the social media and you are dancing Azonto. <laughs> it was in the days of Azonto, 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 Azonto. I said, Ah, I'm not alone with Siki. Lord, you Azonto, ye. Yeah, she was doing Azonto on social media. I said, What kind of human beings are these? You know, so you need to understand that all these things are very very important if you are going to become you know all that you need to be so we are looking at how to do business part-time and succeed and i'm presently now on number five and um we are going to number 10 but i don't really think i should give you everything because uh this one is a free seminar and there are many of you that just like free things you just like collecting free things free things free things and um I don't know where. Let me see. Let me give you because somebody is now asking what are the quality control measures. Free seminar, instant life love. You want to collect everything free. <laughs> so you need to go and buy the book. Get a copy of your school of money book. Very, very important. Get a copy. So let me see what I can do in another five or ten minutes so that I can take some questions. Uh number six, get current information about your field or your industry. 
get current information about your field or your industry. What does that mean? If you are doing business part-time, you need to be current because being current is the currency of life. Being current is the currency of life. So you need to be current. So make sure that even though the business is a part-time business, you need to subscribe to journals. You need to subscribe to journals. You need to, you know, go online and follow all the professional bodies. So if you have professional bodies with reference to the book, um, somebody is asking how much is the School of Money book, Nigeria, 15000 uh, London, £30, America, $50. So if you are buying in America is fifty dollars, buying in London is thirty pounds, buying in Nigeria is fifteen thousand naira. Okay, so um, so make sure you get all the information you can about your field. Very very important, so that you will be correct. Because sometimes what you think you need a lot of, you know, um, you know, staff, machineries, you may be shocked that there is a particular software or a particular program a particular site or a particular organization that can actually do everything for you and make things easy so you need to know that and um it, it's going to be a, a very good help number seven create seasons of full-time attention create seasons of full-time attention okay somebody's asking say, i don't do amazon go to my website i am the amazon i am the amazon olumide emmanuel.org that is the amazon so I don't do Amazon. I am the Amazon. So if you want to buy, go to my website. I am not going to be doing Amazon. Amazon is a rich man making money. Doing, so what he's doing, I'm doing it for myself. So then the traffic come to olubidemanner.org. God bless you. Okay, so you have to create seasons of full-time attention. So what do I mean by that? Now, even though you are doing the business part-time, there are times when you need to be full-time. So what do I mean? So if you are working Monday to Friday, you can now decide to say every Saturday, I'll be in my office. I'll be in the business, if it's a business that works on Saturday. So that means once a week, you are there full time. Or you can now say in the evening, when I close twice a week, I will close from work and go there, depending on the kind of business. And then you can say, okay, when I'm on leave or during public holiday. So like now, this is public holiday now. We had Good Friday, we have Saturday, we have Easter Sunday, and we have, uh, uh, what's this one again? Easter Monday, uh, Monday. So this uh, Friday is good. This one is, uh, what do we, okay. Um, so you do, um, you do, what do we call it? Full time. So now this full time attention, when we say full time, somebody saying it's 7,000 for the ebook on your side, we are doing promo for the ebook. So we are doing promo. Now, so, when you have like Easter now, so that means on Good Friday, you are in the office. Saturday, you are in the office. This Easter Monday too, you are there. Depending on the kind of business, if the business is open. And then when you are on leave, when you are on leave, instead of going on leave, you use your one week leave, two weeks leave, three weeks leave to sit down with your business. Or when it's any other general holiday like Christmas period, when people have a long holiday, you go and sit down there. So what that means is that while the business is a part-time business to you, there are times when you give it full time. It can be once a week, once a month, two hours a week, or whatever. You go there, you sit down there, and watch what's happening. Then, number eight, delegate and outsource some roles in that business. So if you are doing business part-time, there are some things you need to delegate and there are some things you need to outsource. E.G. 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 I repeat, E.G. Accounting. You can outsource the accounting of the business to an accounting company. So the accounting company can um, now go there, do the accounting, income, expenditure, and take stock and do all your, you know, uh, financial accounting, do bank reconciliation. They do all the accounting stuff for you. Do the auditing, so you can get, you can outsource that. You can even outsource your marketing. You can outsource your PR. You can outsource your branding. You can outsource your storage. You can outsource production. So, what that does is, major aspect of your business is now in the hand of somebody else to help you handle and then it will help you to become successful so outsource some of the number nine is don't starve or overstuff the business with money 
don't starve or over stop the business with money. Sometimes, because you are doing business part time, you starve it of money. When they say we need this, you know, all the money I've given you people, and I'm not going to give you any money. All the money I give you, I'm not going to give you any money. I'm not going to give you any money. If you don't give them money to do what needs to be done, change what needs to be changed, upgrade what needs to be upgraded, you may end up stifling the business. And because you don't trust people and you are not there, you are not believing them, you are not giving them money, and then there is trouble. That's number one. Number two, sometimes you can overstuff the business. When you overstuff the business, that's another trouble. Because if you overstuff the business, you give them so much money and you are not there to monitor things, they can just be milking you. And then it will become like Fikemba. You know, when we were growing up and... Uh, uh, we used to do physics, chemistry, and biology, and we had people that would go to their family and go and collect money for textbook. And they say we got, they say we should buy three textbook. Uh, one is fee, one is chem, and one is bar. Fee, chem, bar. And somebody else will say uh, the textbook is bio and law and G. You know we have bio, law, and G. <laughs> so if you are go, if you are one of such people, so before you know it, they will just tell you want to buy uh, one uh, uh, flushing and regasing, you know, to <laughs> flush and regas, and then you'll be collecting. They will just be deceiving you and collecting money from you. So you need to make sure that um, you don't do that. Then number ten, network powerfully, network powerfully, network powerfully. Networking is very powerful. You need the right people in your corner. You need the right people in your corner. So networking is um. Being in the right network, network with people above you, network with people on the same level with you, network with people below you. Um, uh, so have the right mentors, have the right connection, have being the right tribe. And all these things will help you. So um, I think these 10 things are very, very important. So if you need more clarity, you can get the book, The School of Money. And then I have an entire audio program on how to do business part-time and succeed. It's also available on the website. So you can go to the website and also download, buy and download the audio programs, how to do business part-time and succeed. So before we go into question and answers, um, the book is available and then we have houses for sale in America. So there are two houses available for sale in the US. So if you're interested, they are being sold at 50% discounts. So with $70,000, you get a three bedroom house in America plus tenants. And um, the tenants are paying $750 a month. So with $70,000, you get the house plus tenants. And within 60 days, you start earning money in dollars every month. And then the Madiba uh, products are still available. So you can go to madibaglobal.com. Madibaglobal.com. And then you can buy into... We have the shortlet uh, apartments. So if you need a place to stay or you know anyone that needs a place to stay... They can come to use any of our short-lived apartments. We also have the Madiba car hire services. So we have escort vehicles. We have Toyota Prado, Kia Sportage. You can do that. And then we are building a nine, nine unit of two-bedroom luxury apartments. So if you want to buy into the apartment, two-bedroom is $29 million. And um, it's a massive opportunity that you can take advantage of. So all these are available. Just call the numbers. Uh, call the office number and take advantage of them. Okay, so the floor is open. Let's do 15 minutes of question and answer. So if you have a question, you can use the question uh, button. Uh, okay, so this one says, um, thank you for the teaching. Can you give us the names of journals to subscribe to? Thank you. Now, depending on the business you do, go online. Go online and Google different journals and materials that can help your particular industry. Just Google it, you'll get it. Uh, Abiodun says, I'm at the crossroad of outsourcing my marketing for my part-time business. My problem is how to let go because I have an idea of the internet marketing. I need plan to outsource, run them, no time. No, you have to let go. You cannot fall in love with an idea. It's money you need. <laughs> okay, uh, so don't fall in love with your idea. Let's go. Is uh, Lawa, is there an office in Abuja where I can pick the book? Yes, there's an office in Abuja. Call the office 0809 144 Uh Number 8, I didn't get number 8. Please recap. Well, maybe somebody will give it to you. Adaisi, 
you know pay oh adana free seminar oh you won't get the hotel for free oh so if somebody will help you they will give you number eight before we close uh, so um then the madiba stuff where well, go to madibaglobal.com madibaglobal.com download the brochure and study all the different things um we have um okay okay are there is a okay yeah uh, so question, let's see another question again. Uh, uh, good evening, Sam. Into, well, ox to mama, your question is not complete. Uh, please, I need a contact for the houses in U.S. Call the office in U.S. 770-380-8414. U.S. 770-380-8414. The number for Abuja, just call the number for Lagos. They will connect you to Abuja office. Our office in Abuja is in Kubwa. So just call 0809-144-7423. And then this video will be on my YouTube channel. This video will be on my YouTube channel. So you can go to, I'm going to put it on IGTV now. And then I'm going to put it on my, so you can go to Olumide Emmanuel on YouTube. Olumide Emmanuel on YouTube. And then you get the video and watch it all over again. David Sulek. Say, I need a mentor. How can I get one, sir? Well, look for people that have what you want. Contact them officially to let them know you like to be mentored by them so that they will let you know if they have an established mentorship platform and how you can be a partaker of their mentorship. And that's the way to go. So if you want us to be your mentor, contact us officially. Um, Elion says, how can I get trustworthy people that can manage my business? You have to interview them, take them to an interview process or ask for referral. Yeah. Ask for referral. Um, um, oh no, Frederick say, I think you mean internal control, not quality control. Yeah. It's everything depending on the kind of business. You know, I mentioned internal control. I mentioned quality control. If, for instance, now you are into cake, you are into ice cream, you are into drinks, you also need to put quality control measure there to be sure that what you want them to be producing, bakery is what they are producing. Then internal control, yes, I get you. Thank you very much, but they are both necessary. Both internal control, quality control, it depends on the kind of business you are doing. So, thank you very much for that, Frederick. Um, then... Uh, Joshua, good evening. How do I manage my staff as someone doing business part time? I've told you once you have the staff, one thing that needs to be current is supervision, another thing is regular training. So, there has to be supervision, there has to be training, there has to be internal control that guides things. Because even though you cannot micromanage them, you have to put systems and structures in place that will help you to be able to manage, manage things. That's the way it works, and then. Just trust that uh, as you train them, they will respond to training. And then make sure they are also compensated. Win-win. Opugo, uh, Benga, can one do multiple part-time business while still receiving salary? Uh, Sometimes what you are calling multiple part-time business might just be multiple struggles. So it might just be multiple struggles. So it may be possible depending on what the part-time business you are talking about is. Because you can be working and then you have a transport that is doing transporting for you. That's part one business. You can also have a bad business. Salary. So it's possible, but we need to be careful so that we don't get into multiple struggles, thinking that we are doing uh, multiple. Then how can I contact you? I, I've given you all my number, Cecil. Lagos number, London number, American number. That's the number. Call any of those numbers, you will reach me. Or email our overseer at gmail.com. Our overseer at gmail.com. Uh, Wagiri Kinsley. I'm a student. How can I start business while schooling? I have plenty. Business is all about what do people need. What do people need? If you have something they need, you give to them. So as a student, you can sell underwear. You, the people buy brazier. They buy pants. They buy boxers. They buy singlets. As a student, you can have a barbing saloon. You can have a photocopying center. As a student, you can do photography. As a student, there are many you can be by selling books, selling notebooks, selling. Uh, so there are so many things you can do. Just look around you. What are the needs around you? Meet the needs of people. Solve problem. Offer value, and you're in business. Uh, Solo says, "I'm currently in Taiwan, but I'm a Ugandan, and I've been thinking of venturing into real estate. How can I go about this?" Wow. 
that is one of my major forte so um solo i will i, I will advise you to contact us we have a massive pack it's called how to do business part-time and succeed it's about one thousand dollars how to do business uh sorry i say uh, real estate executive master class real estate executive master there are 10 dvds and a massive manner is about a thousand dollars so if you order for that it comes with a one-year mentorship and then it will help you uh, i am kbc how can i start real estate business in nigeria with little cash well um the best way to start with little cash is to start as a realtor that means you are a marketer you are selling for other people that's the lowest entry point in real estate you don't need money so you can also contact us go to madibaglobal.com and download the brochure the madiba brochure and then you can register as a madiba realtor i will train you and then you'll be able to start selling for us and learn more about real estate and from there you can begin to make money through your own commission and if you can afford to buy uh what i just uh, recommended to solo in uh taiwan um you can get the real estate executive master class pack it's um about a thousand dollars it's five hundred thousand naira and then um you can get that it comes with a one-year mentorship uh ox to mama i'm interested in the beauty and saloon business how do i do that part-time by partnering with someone what partnership structure should I have? Well, if you want to do beauty saloon, you can just build the place, beautify it, and sell table. So each barber will buy a seat. So you can have four seats, and they will buy the seat and be paying you monthly. So you don't really, it's their business. They are the owner of the table and chair. They will just be barbing in that table. So if you have four of that, let's assume they are paying you 50,000 a month. You make 200 from there, then you sell space. Manicure, we collect manicure and pedicure. You sell a space, hairdressing salon, you do the mirror, you buy the machine, and then you give them. So they'll be paying you for the space that they are using. And you'll be the owner of the salon, but they'll be the owner of the space. And then you will now have maybe like a manager that will manage everybody. And then you take care of the lights and the electricity and everything and take care of maintaining the place and they pay you. But if you need any other thing apart from that, then it goes into consulting and we'll send you an invoice. Because counseling is free, but consultancy attracts a fee. So, ox to mama, if you need more than what I've told you now, send me an email that you need us to consult for you. We'll help you do your business plan, help you do recruitment, help you set up the business structure, and we'll send you an invoice. For where there is a voice, there is an invoice. God bless you. Um, get to Tomike. Is there a mutual fund? or other investment platform run by organization that I can invest in. Well, for now, the only thing we have is the real estate investment scheme. We used to run what's called Things That Print Investment Club. We shut that down in 2018. Um, but we are doing only real estate investment scheme now. So anything we do now is directly tied to real estate and explain with real estate so that people will get it clear because the fingerprint issue, people did not understand that it's real estate. And when we say, come and collect land, they say they don't want. Come and collect house, they don't want. So, if you have money, for that one, it's minimum of 5 million. So, if you have 5 million naira, you pay 5 million, we give you 20% every year. And it's a 5-year tenure. We don't do short-time investment. So, you bring 5 million minimum, we give you 20% every year. At the end of the 5 years, you collect your capital back. So, it's minimum of 5 million. But you can call the office and then, so, Tomika, call the office and we'll take you from there. Akoibo, how can I start importing things from China to Nigeria ah, I don't do importation business but I will advise you look for somebody that has done that or somebody that is doing that and let them become your mentor let them become your mentor I do not do importation at that level I've never been to China before so I don't do importation but I can guide you I know things to say but I don't just like to focus on what's not my primary area but you can actually do drop shipping you know and you can buy through drop shipping and all those stuff but just look for someone that is already doing it and then you can now get them to mentor you um okay same on global i want to venture into real estate business how how can i start same answer same answer get the real estate pack either you start as a realtor so you can register as a realtor and be selling for us or for other people and get a commission or you buy the real estate executive masterclass pack it's a massive manual with 10 dvds 
is it about a thousand dollars and it comes with one year mentorship and they will train you and guide you through the process um how do i get your email that's my email there our overseer at gmail.com our overseer at gmail.com okay uh is rwanda good for real estate investment oh yes we have a we have an apartment building we are closing on in rwanda uh we have an apartment building we are closing on in rwanda so rwanda is good if you want to buy something in rwanda you can contact us we have two bedroom apartments in rwanda forty thousand dollars for two bedroom apartments and then um which it comes with guaranteed rent contract for five years so contact us send me an email and let's talk rwanda um and kabi is say your madiba realtor section is closed okay if it's closed um uh, then send us an email let's see because yes i think we have crossed the number because me I, i'm not really into crowd so we have crossed we, we just need 100 realtors and i think we are 280 something realtors so i think we, we were screening them so we're going to drop a lot of them this month and then they'll probably be able to wait for you to come in so i'm um, kabi AC, send your send an email to us let's see how we can work something out with you um okay peace ebukola is talking to akoibo says you should contact somebody something trendy korea that she takes master class on importation from china so uh i'm not the one recommending the person you know it is peace that is recommending the person you know so note who is recommending so that when you get there i don't know the trendy korea but consider this is what networking is all about so go there go and learn because i don't know about china i'm not an expert in china nigeria business please is the common sense office that we should call or madiba is the same thing any number you call common sense so madiba common sense group is the name of the company madiba is a product so madiba global is a series of products that we just released this year so any number you call you are talking to the same company you can send me a message concerning the china importation business okay another person says you should send them so please all the connection you are making on this platform you know me i don't know anybody who caveat disclaimer so whatever buyers beware whatever the business you are connected though that you not say i met him on uh, dr louis de Manes program so you permit yourself and do your due diligence investigate before you invest don't come and be calling me that you gave money to somebody they didn't deliver uh okay i think uh, we're good so we're rounding up now let's hear your final i just concluded the class awesome ah perfect peace book peace bukola says she completed the class so this is a testimonial for that person they say you should contact so this is a good testimonial so uh thank you okay so thank you all we need to close now god bless you all so um on sunday join me on sunday we are having a session myself and omoni oboli uh building your personal brand um myself and omoni oboli yes 20 percent return on investment for five million investment for five years yeah it's still on if you're interested contact us so that you can join it's still on so god bless you all god bless you all happy easter so join me with omoni oboli next week sunday 8 p.m nigerian time next week sunday olubide man and omoni oboli building your personal brand so don't miss it next week sunday don't miss it god bless you all uh have a wonderful wonderful week uh let me see uh any other question here uh Akoibo Felix, how can i make a driving bus for me to be paying regularly without failing okay you want to get a bus um send us an email let's see if we can connect you with people um so that means you want to get a bus for higher purchase that you'll be paying little by little so god bless you all i appreciate you guys it was nice um having this time with you god bless you all um i came to your office in lagos from london and left email but no response please which email low our overseer at gmail.com they we always reply our mail so maybe you got the wrong email or you went to junk mail so please resend us the email or call the numbers we have given to you 
paid for the entrepreneurship master class, but I've got the link. Okay. Did you want to say you have gotten it or you have not gotten? Because what you wrote is you have gotten. If you have gotten, that's good. So enjoy the class and let us know. If you want, if what you are saying is you have not gotten it, please send us the email. Send us the email. Our overseer at gmail.com so that you will know. Or you you um call the number if you are in nigeria zero eight zero nine one four four seven four two three zero eight zero nine one four four seven so official mr will call zero eight zero nine one four four seven four two three so that you talk to the admin and then they will know what's happening thank you thank you thank you thank you Zero eight zero nine one four four seven four two three. If you are in London, is zero seven seven nine zero seven eight nine seven two four. And Mikael Davis say I spoke with some of your personal assistant. Whenever you call, ask for Mister Paul Mark, and speak to Mister Paul Mark. And if you speak to Mister Paul Mark, is the administrator of the academy. He will sort you out. If Mister Paul Mark. He's not able to sort you out then. Contact me then. I will deal with the case because he's here. He's listening to you now. So, Paul Mark, M.K. Davis. He said he has spoken to some people. So, you guys should sort yourself out and make sure that you satisfy them. So, sorry about that, but it will definitely be looked into. So, God bless you all. Uh, if you are in America, you want to buy the American house, uh, the number is 770-380-8414. 770-380-8414 so guys enjoy yourself i'm going to put this on my igtv now and it's going to be posted on um on youtube so you can go to olumide emmanuel on youtube and you have loads of stuff there that will really really bless you and um, get the school of money book make sure you get a copy of the book very important and then don't forget to join me follow me on all my social media platform and join me next week Sunday, Lumde Mana and Money Oboli. Uh the the house is where in time hospitality. The house is in Detroit, Michigan. Detroit, Michigan. They are all in Detroit. Uh there are two actually, just two left. We've sold the other one. So two left. They're in Detroit and they have tenants. The tenants pay some fifty a month. So you are buying the house with tenants. There is no at that side, there is no discount. Seventy thousand is the fifty go online, check the the house is one hundred and thirty, one hundred and fifty thousand. So the seventy thousand is already fifty percent discount. So it's seventy thousand. Okay, God bless you all. I've got to sign out now. Where can I pick up the book in Lagos? Please just call the number we have given to you. Pray these cakes. You don't even need to pick it, they will come and deliver to you. Zero eight zero nine one four four seven four two three. Zero eight zero nine one four four seven four two three. Call them. They will. You pay. They will come and deliver to you wherever you are in Lagos, and then you just pay maybe another one thousand for delivery. Okay. God bless you all. Bye.